Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the items I've cut out of our budget since quarantine. Let's get started. As we know, many of us have had to make some changes in our life. And guess what? Maybe many of us are now more frugal and some good things have come out of that. So I'm going to get started with number one. First thing that I've cut out of my budget, and I'll be honest, I enjoyed it, was a monthly pedicure. My daughter and I would go together. We would enjoy spending time together and do that. But many of the nail places around here are open. The one that we go to is not. But we've decided that that is one way that we can save money right now. So I chose one thing to do for myself once every seven to eight weeks, and that's to get my hair done. So I'm choosing that over a pedicure, and so that's what I'm doing. So that's the one thing we've cut out, number one. Number two, I used to go to the Dollar Tree each week. Now I go once every other week, so that saves me about $20 there. Number three, thrift store shopping. I used to love to go thrift store shopping. I didn't always buy something, but I enjoyed going. And I know I've spoken to you guys about this before. I think it's because I'm really social. I just like getting out and being around people. It doesn't mean I have to buy something, but I know I've said this many, many times. Every time you get out and you go in a store, it could be a possibility and a temptation to buy something because they're making it attractive where you want to buy it. And so it's good that I'm not in all of these stores. So I would say thrift store shopping is something that I'm not doing at all right now. Number four, yes, I'm grocery shopping, obviously. And usually the first week of the month, I spend more than all the other weeks. And when I do my June spending with you guys and tell you what I spend every day, you'll get to learn where I was spending my money in the month of June. So what I'm doing is I've been spending less over the last several months, which is really positive. And then last month, I even had one week where I spent $6. Now, granted, I did have a $25 gift card. So without the gift card, it was $31, which I thought was really good. So I've not eliminated grocery spending, obviously, but I have really been watching it. And if I have one week where I spend more, I'm very aware and I spend less those other weeks. Number five, I am aware about having your home repairs and some things are necessary, but I'm tr working on being mindful and trying to do them one at a time since my work is just starting to come back. And right now, especially with what's been going on and what's still happening basically in the world, I really want to make sure I'm automating my savings so that every month that something is going in my savings because I do feel that even though I thought I was prepared, I could always be better prepared. So some of the home repairs are on hold right now, but we will get to them later on this summer. The next is six, clothing. Couple reasons why. Number one, I want to at least as a minimum lose 20 more pounds. So there's no reason right now for me to go out and buy clothes. I have to be honest, some of the clothes I wear are not probably the most becoming on me, but it's super hot here. Not a lot of people see me. I'm usually sitting down when you look at me. And uh, that's number one. Number two, if I wanted to buy clothes, I would have to go out and try them on. Well, dressing rooms aren't open and I don't wanna try something on and then return things. I dislike returning things a lot. Let me know if any of you feel the same way. I don't like returning anything to the stores. So I like to be really certain I want something to the best of my ability. And the next, last but not least, number seven, is the P.O. box. I did give that up because that was kind of expensive. It wasn't something I absolutely needed. So those are seven items on my list. I know I could improve on being more frugal, and I know some of you are way more frugal than me, but remember, comparison is the death of joy, and it's all about the baby steps. I've learned a lot over the last five years, and I have a lot more to learn, and hopefully a year from now, I'll even be in a better position than I am now. That's the hope and the prayer. So before signing off, I want to ask you, have you cut back on any of your spending during this time? If so, I'd love to know about it and I'm gonna do a shout out. This person, his name is Valentine, he's actually a friend of mine. His channel's called Mr. Money Geek. One thing I have not been offering on my channel is I don't talk about investing because to be totally honest, I have very basic knowledge and I don't feel that the videos would be as beneficial as watching someone else's channel that has more knowledge. 
Mr. Money Geek has very short videos and he does a lot of videos on investing. He's very lively and animated and I think you'd like him. So if you go check him out, let him know Money Mom sent you. That's all for now. I love you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.